Welcome to our video about organizing your macros. In this video, we'll cover the basics of what a macro is, how to use them, and how to better organize them to increase your team efficiency. A macro is a prepared, canned response or action that is manually applied by an agent when creating or updating tickets. Macros in Zendesk allow support agents to automate repetitive tasks and responses by bundling together predefined sets of actions, such as adding tags, updating ticket status, and inserting pre-written responses. This automation saves time, ensures consistency in communication, and enables agents to handle customer inquiries with more efficiency, ultimately improving overall productivity and customer satisfaction. There are so many uses for macros, but a couple of our favorites include creating a standardized process for escalation requests, following up on a ticket when a customer hasn't responded, standardized responses for recurring questions and inquiries from customers, such as how to reset a forgotten password or even a return policy, and more. The possibilities are truly endless. By building out macros, you eliminate clicks and create standard expectations for your team. This is super exciting, but sometimes it can lead to creating a few too many macros for your team where it becomes overwhelming. When this happens, and it's totally okay if it does, it's really important to have macros organized so it's easier for your team to navigate through the options you've created for them and find what they're looking for. Nesting, or organizing your macros, is a lot easier than it sounds. It really just comes down to a naming convention. We'll go ahead and show you a demo of how this all works. Here, we have my demo instance Sweet Peas, an online plant retail store. We've been getting a lot of questions about eating plants that we sell, so it could be really helpful to create a macro for these repetitive questions. To create my macro and make sure it's well organized, I'll start by selecting workspaces in the admin center. Then, in the Agent Tools section, I'll select Macros. Next, I'll select Add Macro. This is where that naming convention comes in. We want to create a macro title that contains the category I want to use, followed by the macro name, each separated by two colon symbols, like so. For this macro, the category will be Plant Care, and the macro name will be Eating My Plant. I can also add different actions for my macro to action on when the macro is applied, but we'll stick with just a basic response for now. I'll add the response information to the comment description action, and when everything looks ready to go, I'll go ahead and select Create. Now, I'll go ahead and enter my ticket view. I can see that there's a new ticket from one of our customers asking if she can eat her Venus flytrap that she recently ordered for dinner. This is a great ticket to use that new macro on. I'll hover down to apply macro, and we can see that the new macro has been properly organized into the category plant care and ready for use. And it's that simple. There are a lot of great use cases for nesting your macros, such as internal processes like HR requests, like time off approvals versus denials, or even in the retail space, like returns for a broken item versus a return for an incorrect item. Organized macros in Zendesk not only makes things run smoother, but it also helps ensure that responses are consistent and easy to manage, while also saving your team time and making things more efficient. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.